Hi, this is Dr. John Bergduff. We're going to do an example using the fundamental counting principle that's just a little bit more complicated than some of the others we've seen so far. Superstitious Samantha believes it is unlucky to live in a zip code in which any of the digits are repeated. She wants to live somewhere on the west coast where all the zip codes begin with nine. How many possible lucky zip codes can she live in? So we're looking for the number of zip codes that begin with a nine and in which none of the digits are repeated. Those are the ones that she would feel safe living in. There are a number of ways to look at this, but one way to imagine this is to think of selecting the, the zip codes digit by digit and each digit in the zip code is a choice. Zip codes have five digits to them, and there's a number of choices for the digit that goes in each one of those places. In this case, we want our zip code to begin with a nine. What that tells me is that there's only one choice for the first digit of my zip code. Now that doesn't mean that the first digit is a one, that means that there is one choice. Now if I look at the second digit, the second digit no longer has to be nine, but we have to think about the fact that she does not want to have any repeated digits. What that means for that second digit is it cannot be nine. So what digits could it be? Well, it could be zero, and it could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. So one through eight, and then add in the zero, gives you nine choices. That's any of the 10 available digits except for the nine. So there are nine choices for her second digit. Now when we get to the third place, she, this, because we don't want repeats, this number cannot be a nine, but it also cannot be whatever digit we put in the second position. That actually leaves me with only eight choices left, not nine and not whatever I chose to go in position two, eight digits left. And you can probably see the pattern. When you get to the fourth digit, you can't use the nine from the first place. You can't use whatever you chose for the second place and you can't use whichever, whatever you chose for the third place. So that's three numbers you cannot use out of the 10 available digits. That means there's only seven choices for what goes in the fourth position. And by the same token, when you get to the last position, there'd only be six choices. Now the fundamental counting principle says the number of ways in which a sequence of choices can be made is found by multiplying the number of ways each individual choice can be made. So the total number of possible zip codes that would meet Samantha's demands would be found by multiplying 1 by 9 by 8 by 7 by 6, multiplying all those numbers together. And getting my calculator out, which I'm going to do on the side, 1 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 turns out to be 3,024 possible zip codes on the West Coast where Samantha could live and she would not feel scared. Thanks.